hello guys welcome to today's video and in today's video we'll be talking about the union build version 2 now if you have participated or if you check my video on the version 1 then you should be able to complete the version 2 following these easy steps now this is a tutorial guide on how you can actually use your phone to participate in the union build version 2 um, testnet so guys let's go into the guide now before we move forward to the guide if you're watching my video for the first time and you're not yet a subscriber please hit on that subscribe button and like this video the more you subscribe the more i'll be able to make more videos like this so and i know you are enjoying this video for you to stay updated to my channel just hit on that subscribe button right all right now let's move forward now to begin the union build version 2 testnet you need to claim testnet token from ethereum so we are going to be using the google cloud to claim testnet token so the link will be in the description of this video do well to copy it or click on it and then so uh, but if you are here just go ahead to click on the cloud google cloud web3 so once you click on it it will link you directly to the faucet tab as you can see right here now what we need to do is to select the token we want to receive right so which is sepolia eth you can as well receive um ethereum old sky so there are two testnet tokens that we need first ethereum sepolia you paste your address here and then you request right you request or you receive click on receive but first let's claim ethereum whole sky so we click on receive as you can see your testnet tokens are on the way this may take a few moments but to be sure that they are on the way now we we'll go ahead to uh, claim for the sepolia so now as you can see testnet tokens sent check your wallet address now we have received the ethereum whole sky testnet token so all we need to do is to refresh the page now we'll, we want to claim for the sepolia so we scroll down and then claim for sepolia it is sepolia and then we paste our address again then we click receive as you can see testnet tokens are on the way so while we wait for that to enter we are going direct into the next guide now that we've claimed all the file sets that we need to claim um, we come over to old sky old sky .data scan, although the link will be in the description so make use of it and then come over to this place and look for deposit now make sure you are on right contract make sure you are on right contract and then connect to web3 so click on connect to web3 so let's click on connect to web3 and then you click on ok and select metamax this is quite simple just follow the procedure so remember we've claimed the old sky token already the old sky testnet token so remember this link will be in the description once you copy it come over to your Mrs. Browser, paste it and then immediately just scroll down. You don't need to do anything. Scroll down. Already it is on contract and it is on right contract. All you need to do is to connect to Web3 right here, like you have seen. So choose your MetaMax. Make sure you are on desktop site. Make sure your desktop site is enabled. Now look for deposit. As you can see, deposit is here. So click it and then you enter the amount remember we have only one old sky we have one old sky token so we are going to enter 0 0.5 to write we want to change this to we want to wrap this to um, wrapped ethereum on old sky then we do now for sepolia so click on write click on write and then confirm transaction now you can either view your transaction but this should be successful already so but to be sure let's click on view your transaction
now the transaction hash is still loading that is to say the transaction is not yet confirmed now it is successful can you see success right here so we're done for old sky we wrapped 0 0.5 to eth so let's go for sepolia now let's do for sepolia now same process we did for old sky that's what we're doing for sepolia so the link like i said is in the description so just copy it and then come over to your missus browser click on go we'll be doing um some wrapping as well to the sepolia so as you can see it's automatically scrolled down right so what you need to do is to click on connect to web3 again that's all you need to do click on connect and then you select your metamax and then connect so our wallet is connected already now you look for deposits as you can see look at deposit here so click on deposit and then impute amount if you know how much um sepolia eth you have then you just go ahead to impute the amount you want so let's go with 0 0.4 and then i click on write then confirm my transaction now this should be successful already so let's click on view transaction now we're waiting transaction is pending so guys remember to subscribe to my channel remember to like this video and comment also join my whatsapp group in case you find any of this process hard to follow just join my whatsapp group and message me i'll be glad to assist you of course now this should be confirmed and then we go over back to the app.union build and then we click go now we want to interact with version 2 um, union version 2 so remember to make your desktop uh, to activate your desktop site and that is done so if you look at the bottom you see my wallet so you click on it to connect all your wallets so first of all we connect our evm which is the metamax that is successfully can connected then you head over to cosmos and then you click on kepa or kepri you approve that as well remember if you watched my guide on version one you should be able to know that what we are doing here so now that we've connected all we cancel this and then we come over to transfer click on transfer click on transfer so once you click on transfer this is what you'll be shown now we select token so let's go with old sky first and then as you can see our 0 0.5 is visible here 0 0.5 visible so we select it and then now you can select any token destination so you can either decide to swap to Zion testnet sepolia or babylon testnet so but let's do sepolia now we're going to enter 0 0.001 and then you can see transfer ready so you click on it and then you approve confirm this waiting for receipt so as you can see the next thing is submit so click on submit and then you confirm so uh, a little update is that or uh, just a quick information remember to always claim your testnet token every day guys remember to always claim your testnet token from the google um cloud do that always so that you have enough token to swap around as you can see transaction successful transaction successful so there's no need to check on explorer let's do new transfer so this time around let's see we'll do sepolia 
we have 0 0.4 available so you click it and then you select so let's do to babylon now or let's do back to old sky let's do back to old sky so let's do 0 0.0001 and then you click transfer ready approve as well so this is quite simple if you follow all the guides from beginning to this stage then you should have no issue but in case you are finding it hard just go ahead join my whatsapp group and i will be glad to assist you remember subscribe to my channel if you're watching this video subscribe to my channel now we click on submit and then confirm quite simple transaction successful transaction successful guys now although you may need to wait a little longer or sorry you may need to wait for some time for the transaction to complete or to be successful because of the contextion with the eth network so let's go ahead to do new transfer now we'll be doing two Zion testnet so let's do Oliski to Zion testnet so we're going to enter 0 0.001 creating orders and then transfer approve confirm now if you don't do the um, wrapping that we did on the whole sky and the Sepolia, you won't be able to perform any transaction on the app union build which is the version 2 so this is let's click on submit so remember to always go and wrap your eth so confirm transaction remember to wrap the whole sky eth and the Sepolia eth with that done you will be able to perform any transaction or transfer on the app union build version 2 which is testnet version 2 so as you can see transaction successful so let's go ahead to do new transfer now we'll be doing for sepolia to babylon let's do sepolia to babylon 0.001 the more eth you have the more um, transaction amounts you can impute but I, I don't have much so I'm using little little amount so we confirm this I will wait for receipt remember to subscribe guys I keep mentioning it subscribe don't just watch subscribe now submit and then confirm so we are we have done from whole sky to sepolia sepolia to whole sky we have done from whole sky to zion testnet and now we are doing from sepolia to babylon the next one we'll be doing is from whole sky to babylon this is successful so new transfer whole sky to babylon so for this we'll be doing 0 0.01 as well now what we can do also is to swap from zeon to old sky and from babylon to old sky so we'll do that back as you can see it is very easy very very easy unlike version one version one is a bit technical but the version two is quite simple and i i love it i love it quite simple so while we wait for received like I said, if you want any guide on testnet airdrop using your phone, I this is the best channel you can actually get videos, video guide on how you can actually join testnet or airdrops that you think you can't join using your phone. So make sure you are subscribed. Now we confirm transaction and then we wait for our receipt. transaction successful so let's do from Xeon although our Xeon has not reflected now since um, our Xeon did not reflect and um, Babylon you just click this back arrow let's go and claim Xeon testnet token click back and then go to file sets go to file sets 
and then you see locate Xeon testnet so click on Xeon testnet click on it and then as you can see now let's click confirm our capture all right now we need to enter our Xeon wallet so how do we get Xeon wallet so how do we get our Xeon wallet now click on extension click on this extension right here once you click on it you locate locate the Kelpa wallet this is remember we have connected our Kelpa wallet already to the app.union.build so let's click on the Kelpa click on it and then click on deposit on your account click on deposit now search for Xeon as you can see this is Xeon click on enable click on enable and then copy your address so we enable so click on this and then save right now let's go back to copy our address click on the extension again sorry click on the extension tab again and then select the kelper and then deposit and then search for Xeon and then now we can copy copy anyone anyone they are both the same thing so we bring this down and then paste our address here and so click on select denomination which is the young and then verify this again and now send in token successful your two Xeon has been delivered to the address provided so guys that is how to claim our Xeon now let's go back to the app.union to see if it will reflect guys so let's go now that we are here we click the back arrow and then go back to transfer now we select let's select Xeon and see as you can see our two Xeon is visibly showing so select two Xeon the Xeon actually now we want to swap back to now we want to swap back to whole sky so remember we have two Xeon so we are going to go 0 0.1 basically that's just everything you need to do so confirm this transaction on your Kelpa wallet make sure you watch this video to the end confirm as well now we are doing from Xeon to as you can see successful this is successful guys so that will be all for today's video remember subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you guys